All right, hello everyone, Rob here with ScrappyDo.com, and in this video, we're going to show you how to create a heart-shaped basketball. There was a question in the Facebook group, is there a way to do this inside design space? Well, I'm going to show you how uh, I thought about accomplishing this in order to create this cool little effect that you have, which is, uh, you know, the basketball shape right here on top of the heart. So let's go ahead and get started with this. So uh, the first thing we need, of course, is a basketball, and we need a heart. So let's go ahead and go into here. I'm going to go ahead and type in basketball right here. And it's going to start its search process. This is the basketball that I used. So I'm going to click on that. Click insert images. Now for hearts, you can choose the basic shapes. That's what I did. Or you can dig into the library. See if you find a heart that you do like in there to give you that unique shape. All right. So the first thing I need to do is I'm going to go ahead and ungroup. And I really do not need this orange circle anymore, so I can go ahead and delete it. All right. So the only thing I'm really concerned with is the, the basketball webbing. I need my heart first. So let's go in the, to the insert shapes and find a heart. So now that the heart is on our screen, we can size it to what we want to be a good configuration for the basketball. Uh, ideally, you'd probably want it to capture the the intersections of it. You know, very similar to right there. Now, keep in mind what we need to do is we need to make a big heart so that we can grab some of these spokes here. So I'm going to copy this to my clipboard, copy, and I'm going to give me a paste because this part right here is going to be the uh, the inside shape heart which is the the orange okay now um, I'm going to need one more copy of this so I'm going to paste one more time and you're going to see why here shortly all right so now let's go ahead and slice this thing I'm going to go ahead and select everything and hit slice but before I do I do want to check to make sure that I don't have any stray corners sticking out anywhere. So now that looks good. I'm going to go ahead and select everything. I'm going to go over here to slice and we're slicing now. Okay. So these spokes are what I what I really want from from this project. Okay. So I want this to be wrapped in here like so. However, um, what I need to do is I'm going to go ahead and shrink this heart up. And I'm going to place it somewhere inside the center. All right. So we have that. I'm going to select both of these. And I'm going to go ahead and click on the slice button. So you can sort of see what we're doing now is we now have this black border. However, it's missing the, the webbing, basically. All right. So we're going to go ahead and slide the webbing in. And for this part, um, you know, you may not get it centered in just right. Uh, keep in mind, you can increase and decrease the size of the outside heart. All right. So we have that. All we do is select that and choose the weld. All right. Now that we have that webbing, we can go ahead and change it to whatever color you want. And here is the basketball part. And I'm just going to change this to pink just so that we can see a little bit of variety here. And then you just slide this in the background. So that's sort of how you can create your own uh, unique shape, trying to get the basketball inside of the heart anyway. All right. So hopefully you enjoyed this lesson. Like I said, if you just want the heart, uh, I'll put it in the description box below so that you can just go to this project and grab this if that's what you want. Um, bonus tips. Like I said, if you're looking for different unique hearts, uh, always go up here and you can type in the word heart and you can find what you need, what would fit your needs, you know, whether it be one of these or something that already has a nice shadow layer to it already. All right. So like I said, if you enjoyed this lesson, make sure you subscribe. We're always coming out with more and more videos and you never know. One of our videos may answer your question. So until next time, I'm Rob with ScrappyDo.com. Bye.